I'm Courtney, and I'm a part of the Developer Experience team at Esri. For many years, thousands of organizations have relied on Esri's technology to accurately convert text to an address or a location, and vice versa. Now, let's explore the ArcGIS Places service that allows you to build powerful location-aware applications. This service provides easy to access and affordable information about places, such as contact information, opening hours, and user ratings. This will allow you to create better application experiences. Let's look at a few examples. Say you're choosing a vacation spot or house to buy. Typically, there are several options to choose from. Information about nearby essential services like public transportation, and schools can play a vital role in the decision-making process of where to buy or stay. Likewise, knowing proximity to police stations, hospitals, fire departments, nightclubs, or bars can help one assess different types of opportunities, as well as other potential factors associated with security. Lastly, some organizations trying to understand local communities or make public policy decisions can struggle to keep up-to-date records of local businesses. Using the ArcGIS Places service, you can access over 50 million places around the world, classified in more than 1,000 categories. Examples include dining and drinking, landmarks and outdoors, travel and transportation, and much more. Now, let's look at how the new Places service works. A typical workflow can be broken down into two parts. First, you find a place or places within an extent or near a defined location. Second, you make a request to the service to return the details. Let's go through this workflow by looking at an app built using the Places service. This application allows you to search nearby places. The blue marker represents my current location. Zooming closer to my location exposes a variety of places within the extent. I can refine my search to electric vehicle within a 500 meter radius of me by taking advantage of the search and category functionalities provided to me by the service. This will return both the places that contain the keyword electric vehicle in their name, as well as the places that fall within the general category of electric vehicle. Great, I have my electric vehicle spots. Now I'm ready to retrieve some information about them. When I click on a place like electric charging station, I access the service to display data. Now, let's look at the HTTP requests needed to perform the nearby search. I just need to send a get request to the near point operation, setting the XY coordinates, a radius and a search text or category IDs. In this case, I'm using search text. Now notice by default, the service returns 10 places, but if more exist, I can always page through and retrieve more places until a total of 200 places. In addition to near point, I can also use the within extent operation. It works in a similar way, but instead of using XY coordinates, I'll send the coordinates for the bottom left and top right corners of the rectangle which define the boundaries of the desired study area. When I make a request to the places service, the results contain a unique ID for each place. To get place details, I'll send a get HTTP request to places slash place ID operation, replacing the place ID with the unique ID. And that's it. It's really that easy to use the new places service. Imagine the possibilities when combined with the distance and travel time areas provided by our routing service, or demographic and lifestyle data from our geo enrichment service. If you'd like to learn more, you can play around with some sample code, or to start building your own applications, please see our documentation in the link down below.